it's not just North Carolina, Carly. The Harris campaign also concerned about a crack in the blue wall. This as Donald Trump sees a rise in support from Arab Americans, a worrying sign for the Harris campaign's chances of carrying battleground Michigan. Can you believe that? Sam Lookman is the co-founder of Arabs for a Better America PAC and a lifelong Democrat who says she's now voting for Trump, and she joins me now. Sam, look, I, I think we all expected Kamala to lose some Arab American votes in the state of Michigan thanks to her connection to the Biden administration and the war in Gaza. But I don't think a lot of us, myself included, expected any of those votes to go to Donald J. Trump. So how is Trump apparently winning over those voters, including someone like you, who, mind you, voted for and wrote in Bernie Sanders in 2020. Yeah, and I'm still uh, a, a very progressive Democrat, and uh, there's a lot of cognitive dissonance here. However, what, what people like myself, um, people on the ground here in Dearborn in Michigan are really, really prioritizing are the human lives that are being lost in Gaza um, as a result of the genocide. And one thing that we will not do is we will not forgive the loss of over a quarter of a million children, innocent men, women, and children, families that we've seen torn apart. We cannot erase those memories of the videos that we've seen of burning people, of demolition and destruction. And for that reason, we are looking for hope. In, in somebody who can actually stand up and stop the war, whether it's peace through strength or whatever it might be. Um, Donald Trump has really, really put in an effort to show that he could. But moreover, I think there has been a really surreal outreach, and this is in large part due to the efforts of Ambassador Richard Grinnell, um, as well as Masad Boulos on the ground here in Michigan. Richard has really reached out for six months trying to get somebody like me to endorse Trump, and it's, it's bearing fruit. Now, to be clear, Donald Trump has been unequivocal in his support for Israel, unequivocal in his support for Benjamin Netanyahu. But to your point, you say out of all the candidates, the one that you trust the most to lead to peace in the region, to end the wars, to end the killing is Donald Trump. Is that accurate? Yes, yes. I'm going to have to, between the, the choices I have, yes, Donald Trump is probably is the best choice out of them. What I can say is that right now what is happening with, under Biden-Harris administration is not sustainable, it is not working, and it is escalating and broadening. All of the things that um, Democrats have been warning us, don't vote for Trump because he might do. He might restrict funding for UNRWA and humanitarian aid. They're doing it. He might allow for the complete destruction of Gaza, it, they're doing it. He might allow for the broadening of the conflict, they're doing it. Deportation of student protesters, they're doing it. Well, on the ground, what I'm seeing, what my community is seeing, is a lot of hypocrisy and lip service. There is nothing that is coming out of this except more destruction, more death. And what we want is somebody who can actually come in and make changes. Again, whether it's through his peace through strength policies, I can tell you, just so I can compare it apples to apples, when I look at the red line of, that was drawn about uh, Biden and, you know, Bibi entering Rafa by Biden. And Bibi went ahead and did whatever he needed to do. He really humiliated Biden on the world stage and at home during a political election, no less. I can't imagine that Bibi would do the same thing under Trump. And even if he were to do it, you and I both know that the response by our administration would have been much, much different than what we saw with, uh, with Biden. Before we let you go, in the end, will Kamala Harris's decision to have Liz Cheney campaign with her in the state of Michigan ultimately cost her your state? I mean, it may cost her her state. I think ultimately her decision to, they're unwavering and unapologetic about their actions. I think that is really what has driven people like myself into the arms of uh, Donald Trump, happily, mind you, no less. So I think that is really... That is really going to be the, their downfall. You wrote an interesting article writing the following. I'm quoting you. Trump may well be no better on Palestinian Muslim issues, but he couldn't be worse. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the sentiment of so many Arab Americans like you in the great state of Michigan. Sam Lookman, keep us posted. We'll be watching. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.